The vaccination of Belize's youngest citizens, children ages 5 to 11, has so far been well received. And today, on the third day, when we visited St. Joseph's RC Primary School in Cotton Tree Village, parents of the 150 or so students who fall within that category have also supported the vaccination drive overwhelmingly. The, the parents have been um, very uh, supportive and receptive to, to taking the vaccine now. When we had the, the first um, stage, uh, they were a bit hesitant because of uh, the knowledge about the vaccine and whether they should take it or not. But now with, with information uh, being sent out, uh, we send out information in Spanish and English uh, because we have immigrants among us. Uh, so for them to get that information and be able to uh, be informed uh, and make that right decision. Present to assist with the process was Dr. Nympha Ken, an internist with the Ministry of Health who is working with the COVID-19 vaccination program. She says that parents' response to the vaccine in the Cayo district has been positive. Parents come with the kids and they get their vaccines and then we observe them for a period of time. And so far we have had no kind of any adverse reaction. Parents from two separate households, Deidre Rekenia and Hugo Barcenas, had different reasons why they were initially reluctant to have their children vaccinated. But today, both parents decided to let their boys receive the first dose. So I did feel that it was important for him to get it, especially how he's already doing face-to-face, um, -face, you know, schooling back again compared to when he was just home. It was okay. I'm going to office as well, so it's for his safety, you know, and safety for his siblings that he does take the vaccine here at school. I see that it took a little bit out of him to get Yes, the it did. Um, he doesn't like injections, but he still remained strong, took his shot. This is a very difficult um, decision for me. And for my wife, Why? because he's a, uh, with a special need child. child, so he had been uh, with a difficult with the heart. He, yeah, so um, he, he eventually he has to, we have to take a, a while for the side yes. to make you take this vaccine because of his um, illness. You yes, know? but eventually you said yes. Why? <clears throat> yes. Why I say yes because of um, I don't want to lose him, and I know that with his problems and, and you know mm -hmm. this disease is a, a killer. So I I take the decision to to make him take this vaccine. For kids like little Arlen, who have a natural fear of needles, Doctor Ken says that having parents present helps. But when that isn't possible, the nurses on hand have to apply their skills. Children who are afraid of needles, well, you know, you will have a response. Yeah. Like they'll get, you know, will cry, they'll get a little agitated. So what should parents mm -hmm. do? Talk to them? Cope yes, them? they should talk to their kids. And well, their presence means a lot yeah. when they come to get the vaccine here. So, and you know, do you as medical experts and practitioners also do that for the children? Do you talk them through it? Yes, so especially when, you know, they have a lot of um, problems in getting the, the vaccine. Yes. What so, do you do? We, well, the nurses are trained, you know, they comfort them, explain to them. But for parents who are still hesitant to have their children vaccinated, teacher Kenrick Francisco says the school just has to continuously promote optimal hygiene practices. Uh, we don't discriminate per se, but we encourage and we ensure that the students wear their masks to school. They sanitize every time they exit the classroom. When they come back, they need to sanitize. So we're still following the, the, the protocols. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.